Taylor Swift has taken over NFL conversation. She and Travis Kelsey are dating. Uh, she's in she's in a game in the suite with 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 Kelsey's mom. Uh, he scores a touchdown. Patrick Mahomes points up to her. Everybody has something to say about it. Andy Reid had something to say. Mahomes has something to say. She and Travis Kelsey drive off in the Camaro after the game. There's rumors that this was their actual first meetup. He did a little little call out to her on his podcast, and now all of a sudden they're dating. She's expected to be um, at the Jets game this week. Uh, yeah. Ticket prices went up. Yeah, boy, boy, did that. You had the Swifties hanging outside, waiting on, waiting on her to leave the suite. You see Travis Kelsey's podcast shoot up the charts. You see his merch shoot up the charts. Yeah, he's uh, best selling jersey, I believe. Right? Yeah, uh, something like that. It's super high. And with Travis Kelsey being a celebrity as well, yeah, because he's. It's not like he's uh, Tavon, not Tavon Austin. Who was it? Uh, Miles Austin. He was dating somebody on the Cowboys. Yeah, he was dating that cheerleader chick who like got famous. And even Tony Romo was dating Jessica Simpson. Yeah, Tony Romo wasn't really a celebrity yet. I mean, he's the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, though. It, yeah, but it, it. I think Travis Kelsey has the image outside of football. He did the dating show. He dated that one really hot, super popular chick. He's also he's also just a. He cool. He's not. Yeah, he's not Gronk, but he's kind of a wild. Boy. Think about it. you gotta fight for your. Like he's very vocal on the team. He's more vocal than Patrick Mahomes. He's kind of in a weird way like the Draymond Green of the Chiefs. He's the Chiefs. voice. He's not the face, but he's the voice of the team. Yeah, like he's the, he is. You know, so. so would you rather kick it with Gronk or um, Kelsey? Depends on where I'm going. Fair, and I I'm in Vegas. Give me Gronk. Give me Gronk. If we're going to Vegas, it's me and Gronk. Yeah. Atlanta. But if but if but if, but if, but if I'm hanging, if, if it's a two man, right? If it's a tag team match or something, uh, give me Kelsey. Yeah, so Kelsey's a cool guy. Um he, I, I think this is all about expanding both of their brands. I think there is there's interest there. I don't think it's just like, hey, I think this guy's a weirdo. He's a publicity stunt. No, no, no. I think that they realize what they can gain from each other and that yes. if it works, it works. But if not, hey, at least we have fun in this time. And I get a great album out of it by bashing you. And, you know, yeah. so so I, I got this question from another podcast that's so much bigger than this one. I won't shout them out. Do you think Gronk, uh, not Gronk, excuse me, do you think Travis Kelsey upgraded by going from Taylor, going from the chick he was previously with uh, the obvious answer is no from a look standpoint, but from every other standpoint, yeah, absolutely he upgraded. Like he made, I'm not trying to be funny. He made that chick famous. She's just gonna make him even more famous. Like I don't know if Tom Brady got more popular or more famous when he started dating Giselle, but like it certainly made him to have a power couple, right? Like that's like these. Quotes, quotes, right? Your, your Jay Z's and Beyonce's, your Kim and Kanye, like to be a power couple because there's not that many in reality. Like there's not Angelina and Brad. Like there's, you could kind of name them all on one hand, right? Like so, there's not that many, and he's a unique type of player because he's a tight end too. He's not a quarterback. He's not black either. Let's add that in. Like he's a white. It's a white dude, right? But he's also on the most popular team. He's the best quarterback in the league's top option. He's in a very unique space. He plays in Kansas City. Like, let's look at where he plays, too. Yeah, like, Taylor Swift only goes to Kansas City to do a concert. Yes. <laughs> and it's it, that. It really, they might not even go to Kansas City. They might go to St. Louis instead. They might go there. They might And, and Missouri, they might go to St. Louis instead of Kansas City. So, like. I don't know. I mean, you've been to Kansas. I've never been to Kansas City. I've heard a lot of good things. I got two of my basketball teammates, literally, same class, both black. They, they live there. I wanted to go during like the COVID year to go to a to Chiefs Falcons, but like, 
Uh, I mean, I've heard a lot of good stuff. It looks like a good time. Uh, it's, I'm sure. It, it, it's a good time. And for someone like you, Overland Park works. It's low key. It's more like low key spots, chill. Um, they say that's where yeah. the Chiefs players live at. Uh, so it's a bit more bougie. Mm-hmm. But it's it's the side of Kansas City you want to see. You don't want to go downtown Kansas City. So is that where the like their battery is though? So they play they play because the Royals Park is like, but they're both by that battery area, right? It's like a, so, it's like a battery a little. So that's what I heard. I did not. I didn't pull into the parking lot, right? But I didn't see – it's not as obvious as the battery because I didn't see it from getting off the highway to driving, like, on the strip where where the stadiums are at. But I heard about that battery area that's there. So maybe I was just on the wrong side of the stadiums to see it. But, no, Overland Park is where you want to go. It's about 25, 30 minutes out from there. Oh, wow. Okay. It, that's kind of far. It, it, it's a suburb of Kansas City. No, I'm, I, no, I get that. Well, yeah, if it's thirty-five minutes away, but I'm saying like from that to be where the happening is, like when the do you remember when the Royals went to the World Series? They showed that area bonkers. It looked crazy. I just remember it being back then. I think it was brand new even for them. There's obviously in the battery, the battery's the battery. But like, um, I mean, I've never been, but you know, just in general. Yeah, no, it's, it's Kansas City uh, versus Atlanta. Stop. Yeah, yeah, come on. And so, um, Cobb County. Interesting. I will definitely. We don't play them again, unfortunately. Man, I'll probably never see Patrick Mahomes play in Kansas City unless I just go to a non foul Like, or I'll never see him first, play in Kansas City. Or first place. Ah, uh, but it'll be, a, it'll be in Atlanta. Oh, uh, you're saying next year. Do we get the – no, but we're playing the South every year. I'm saying if we get a first place schedule. But – we don't put – it's a rotating division-wise. I thought the, the – got it. You play, four, eight, you play one division, and then we play the South now. But now that'll be interesting when the South rotates back to us. Who does it switch to? What division? Because it's the South that we play every year in that extra game now. So that'll be interesting. Once it gets there, how do they determine which division gets what? True. Um, we probably will get whoever's north, I would imagine, because of just logistics. So, with all all of this Taylor Swift hype coming around the Travis Kelsey thing, and you know, for, for the listeners, we really don't care about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey at all. Um, Fuck. <laughs> we barely care about Taylor Swift. Let me tell you how much we care about Taylor Swift. <clears throat> Parlay Pete was pissed off that he was coming <clears throat> from work when she was on tour. Because he had to deal with the traffic from her concert getting home. That that's that's the extent of our give a damn about Taylor Swift. It but but even in that situation, it was just so bad because the concert didn't start until eight. I think I was going to the gym at like one. And like there was traffic, and I'm like, why is there traffic right now? It's like the Atlanta United are on play. I said, No Taylor Swift's in town. Janet Jackson was in town too, but like um why these concerts aren't until later and then i look up on north side drive and i'm like holy shit it looks like the rodeo because there's so many cowboy boots short cut off jean shorts signs kids families and then i look over at the stadium that i get to go to, you know fortunately get to go to every other week and you just see it's motherfuckers really sitting outside and i'm like the doors don't open for four hours you fucking quiet like, Bro, it was the same. It was the same shit with the Beyonce concert. Like, it was the same shit with the Beyonce concert. I was driving back to. I was driving back to the hotel, and I go, "What is going on? Why are you people out? The doors don't open for another three hours. Go to your hotel room. Go home. Take a nap." Go get a dinner. Go do something. Yeah, go get something to eat. Go get some drinks. Wait, I mean, but let me talk, tell you. talk to your family that you don't talk to normally. Like, <laughs> do something else. Uh, you know what? Go catch the uh, go catch the afternoon shift in Magic City while you're at it. Hell. 
I know that once peaches and eggplants, uh, I'll, I'll bleed that out. 